It's gone down, Loyalist's gone down, popularity's gone up. Right. Uh, I've got four weeks left. Do I want to just go full on rebel? I want to go full on rebel. Taxes to be lowered thanks to government effort. Government, cu government cuts economic support for public schools and hospitals to make rich richer! Yes! That, no, not yes, that's bad, but I can report on it, which is good. I might be betraying my roots a little. Okay. A uh, new proposal by the Lord's government will lower the tax of high income earners. This decrease will affect the economic support of what? Oh, yes! No, this is horrible! Frank! Hit it! Colton West disbanded. Uh, this morning, police broke into Roberts Foundation, arresting author Peter Roberts. His cult was alive for a week. Kidnapping treason? Fraud? Colton West disbanded. I. I'll keep that one on standby. Remival lays off 400. Remival takes out financial on its employees. Phil, you're dealing with that one. Oh, who's got a kid? Who's got a kid? Which of you had a kid? I think Anne has a kid? Anne has a kid. Uh, mining means of epidemic in elementary schools caused by poor funding. Uh, yeah, no, I want, I want shock and horror. I want the government to try and come into my house and kill me. I don't want that. I don't want that. Right, so we just need something for Julie. Oh, wow. Miller's marriage falls apart, leaves husband's toxic environment. <laughs> the relationship was further strained due to various unfounded rumours. It's been nothing short of a nightmare. Sorry, Carol. Right, let's go with the... Let's go with the vandalism one. Julie, deal with that. What do we want on the front page? Government cuts. Epidemics in schools. Right. So societal is my most one. South and East again then. <laughs> this is getting more intense than it should for a newspaper bureaucracy simulator. before the public culture bill comes into force. Yes! Yes! Popularity and suspicion, that's what I want. Dear editor, I've left to support the workers at Remival Industry, so I'll be gone this week. I'll be back Monday, Frank. Frank! Frank! Come on.
In Laurel's government believe that us stealing money for tax is wrong. We also feel it's wrong. You should pay more just because you and people choose what to pay for. Sod off. Right. Mm. Frank. Ugh. Okay, so Frank's vanished. President viciously attacked by rebel sympathizer. President struck by a tomato. Oh, wow. Guys. If you want to write about news, this is terrible. Right. President struck by tomato. Phil. Phil. Anne, but it's a bloody tomato, Anne. Why don't you want to write anything about the government you support being evil? There we go. So Anne's writing about... Movie star gets away. How old Finn's ego is big as ever doesn't think statues made in his honour are good enough. Why is it always Harold Finn? There's got to be other actors in this city. Phil, you're... Phil. Phil! You're not helping me. What do you want to write? Phil. Phil. What will you write about? There we go. You're writing about how criminals are running the country. Guys. So Julie, because she's the only one who didn't keep a couple, put up a fuss, is writing that. Um, crime and industrial, that's not a combination I've got before. East again, I guess. East and West, let's try that combination. Sorry for you. You wanted a date and the person brought their boyfriend. <laughs> but you found a liper note on the pavement, which was nice. Phil. Phil. Oh, buddy. You're, you support fascism, but that's still kind of harsh, man. Right. Loyalist suspicion is almost complete. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Oh, that's a lot of letters. Right. Education for the people. Can get behind that. Most uncooperative editor. Seems your paper has continued to take a stand against guidelines put in place in preparation. Continued disobedience will be punished. Punishment will be dealt out to specific individuals involved, whether they are employees of the paper or not. What? What? Uh, most respected editor, we saw the article you posted in your paper, the Westport Independent, to say we treat our employees like dirt, it's both incorrect and offensive. This happens again, we'll make sure to take adequate legal action that will put you in enough debt to last your grandchildren. Wow! Uh, one of your employees, Anne, has shown quite a rebellious attitude in our writing for your paper. Anne! While she has no history of disloyal behaviour, her recent actions have led us to consider taking this matter into our own hands. Proper discipline. You guys are dicks! You're a ah! Oh! Most better data, the vicious slander in your so-called newspaper print is about it. Ah, uh, I've got two weeks left and everyone at full power. Sod it. That's pretty dark. This is getting very dark. Uh, Anne, you're going to write something not offensive so that no one tries to murder your children. 
Phil, you're writing about that. Ah! A local shell factory announced its intention to bring women into the workplace. So it's either local factory hires scabs, or local factory hires women workers. Frank, you're gonna write that, because you're good at it. Julie, you're gonna write that. Ah, uh, right. What's going on the front page then? Okay. Once again, societal and celebrity are my major points. Actually, did I ever get societal and celebrity as major points? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to wake up, I'm not going to start the next week in my office, am I? I'm going to start in a cell. So the weather's nice. So, <laughs> see, so next week's going to be intense. Okay, we've got one week left. Yep, it's gone down. And the government are completely suspicious of me. And I'm not doing anything, I've just been taken into a... I knew it, I knew... Ah, oh, god damn it. Westport Independent has been shut down, the employees have been arrested, and you've been charged with high treason. That's it, I, I just get arrested and die. <laughs> oh, well that was fun. That was actually really fun. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, there should be a bonus video out at some point in the following week, hopefully, uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that as well. Uh, don't forget to like, rate, subscribe, I don't know if YouTube does rating anymore. Uh, no, genuinely thank you for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I will see you soon.